Hello everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Goose. Thanks for joining me for yet another Christmas beer. They just don't stop coming this year, do they? This is good. This is uh, Dreams of Brew York. It's a cranberry, red currant, apple and cinnamon uh, pastry sour coming at 6.5% ABV. It's one of the new series uh, for the Christmas from uh, Brew York. Um, I think we just need to crack it open, don't we? So it's like, I've been looking forward to this one. Um, Pastry stouts, uh, a pastry stout, so this is a pastry sour, so pastry stout, which is the normal one we all tend to see, um, just should taste like a, a dessert in a glass. Yep, normally plenty of adjuncts in it, so they just chuck loads of things in the beer to get the flavours. Um, a sour should be very similar, but I'm, you just, with it being, it's more of a fruit sour, I suppose, it's... Uh, more fruity, uh, with it being a pastry sour, so I'm expecting a lot of the same sort of things. It's got a lot of fruit in there, so I'm, I assume some of those are going to come with um, sour or more like tart notes. A bit of sweetness as well, I'm guessing, from some of the fruits. Um, yeah, if anybody had any of the, um, there was a series of them done um, early in the year. There was a North and South beer. The South by Brew by Numbers and Yonder, I think it was, wasn't it? That was the Pavlovi Pastry Sour. So some of you may have had that anyway. But Yonder do some really good um, pastry sours. I've had the Cherry, um, was it a, a Blueberry one this year? Which really, really enjoyed. Um, and in those, you get plenty of sweetness from the lactose. I'm guessing this is something to do very, very similar to this one. So that has poured a ready pinky colour hazy would we call it crimson would we be that bold as to call it a crimson looking beer don't know it's a nice colour with the fruit that's in it so you're cramping your red currant it's that sort of colour isn't it really oh it smells really actually smells quite sour on the nose sour tangy fruity Smells though more than anything. I tell you what, that's getting the, the juices going. That smells really, really juicy. No wind of spice, which I'm surprised at. Let's taste it, shall we? Cheers, everybody. That's nice. It's fruity. Incredibly fruity. I'm trying to see if I pick up any of that spice actually and I'm I am missing it a little bit. It's fruity and I have to say, mouthfeel on this is absolutely amazing. It feels just so full in your mouth. It's tangy. It comes across straight away as a tangy beer. Um, but then right at the very end, you do get a little bit of sourness creeping in. Now, the way I always think about it, whether or not rightly or wrongly, it's called a sour. And sour is something for me like a lemon. So it's something that's got very little sweetness in there. It is purely the sour notes. Tanginess, for example, a little, little bit like the tangy sweets you get, where they have got that sourness in there, but there's, it's offset with a really nice sweetness. So most beers, most sour beers for me, I would always describe as tangy because you do get that, that sourness, but it's offset with the sweetness on the other side. This is very much similar. It's got a nice fruity note as well, really nice fruity notes. You know, those cranberries and red currants are coming through, through really well. And you have at the back end that sourness hits a little bit, a little bit, little note of sourness, not a great deal. And then you do the, get a little flavour of apple coming through as well, which is really nice. I'm not getting. Tell what? Tell a lie. Starting to get a little bit of creaminess coming through, a little bit of. 
It's a little bit of creaminess. It's a little bit of butteriness in the mouth, and he's he's making it feel sweet, pastry-like. That's coming through quite nicely, and there's just a little hint, tiny little hint of cinnamon, but not a great deal. That is nice. It's nicely balanced. So like I say, for me it's tangy more than more than sour. So you get a nice what I expect, not what I expect, what I like from a sour, particularly fruit sour like the only fruit sour like this, I like it balanced flavour. I like it to come out refreshing, that's what I like to see. It's very smooth. Like I said, absolutely adorable that mouthfeel to that. And just at the back end, a little bit of cinnamon spice coming through, but there's not a not a great deal in there. But it's nice, very fruity, very tangy, lovely mouthfeel, and a little bit of sweet sweetness coming through, possibly from some lactose. Let's have a little look. See if there's any lactose in there. Uh, Lose lactose. Uh, barley oats, wheat, apple, cranberries, red currants, lactose, uh, malted extract, hops, vanilla, cinnamon, and yeast. So yeah, so the cinnamon is right down there. You are just getting a little bit of a hint of it, and it's it's just mixed with that sweetness. Really nice. I like that. I like that. I like that enough to score that eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten from Andy's Beer Reviews. Whatever you are drinking. Please enjoy it and until the next review, cheers everybody.